Today on our 2003 Chrysler PT Cruiser, we'll be installing the Kurt T Connector Wiring Kit, part number C55532. To begin with, we'll need to remove both taillight assemblies by removing the Torx head screw that's at the lower section on the taillight assembly. Once you pull the taillight assembly out, be careful not to break the clips off as you're removing the taillight assembly. Then we will go ahead and unplug both plugs from the rear of the assembly. On this case, we used a small screwdriver to help release both of the locking tabs. Once we have the passenger side light assembly out and the wires disconnected, we will go ahead and drop down the four flat as well as the yellow wire with the connectors down through the light assembly and under the rear bumper fascia. We'll plug the gray connector that has two wires into it with the green wire into the vehicle's harness, making sure that the locking tabs snap into place. We will also make the connection with the plug that has three wires, one of them has a brown and red wire in it as well. Next we'll go ahead and route the yellow wire through the bumper structure to the driver's side. In this case we went ahead and used an old section of air tubing to help us fish it through. We also placed the four flat wire out of the way where it'll later be connected to the hitch. Once we have the yellow wire run over to the driver's side, we'll go ahead and repeat the process of connecting the wiring harnesses. Once the wiring harness is connected, we will go ahead and reinstall the taillight assembly, putting the Torx head screw back in place. Now back on the passenger side, we will go ahead and connect the long black power wire that's supplied with the kit that will be run to the front of the vehicle and connected to the battery. We will connect this to the small black wire that comes off the converter box. And then you may want to use a little electrical tape to go ahead and help protect it a little more. We will also need to find a good suitable place to screw our ground in, which is the white wire with the ring terminal, somewhere in the passenger taillight assembly area. In this case, you will notice we found an area where the sheet metal has been doubled up to help give a better ground. Next, we will go ahead and wipe off a small section behind the passenger taillight, where we'll use the two-sided adhesive to go ahead and attach the converter box. Now that we've got the converter box attached, we will go ahead and reinstall the passenger side taillight assembly, again using the Torx head screw. Once this is done, we'll go ahead and go back under the vehicle and go ahead and tie up our four flat by routing it along the trailer hitch and using a couple zip ties to help secure it in place. Next we'll need to go ahead and route the black wire that we connected to the black wire on the converter box to the front of the vehicle, making sure we keep it away from any moving parts, pinch areas, or any areas that may become hot, such as the muffler, catalytic converter, as well as the turbo. So we went ahead and ran our wire in the same area as the fuel lines ran back. We also used a small section of air tubing to help fish the wire up and over the fuel tank.
We also used a few zip ties to help secure the wire in place. And once we got up to the front of the vehicle and the engine compartment area, again we used the old section of air tubing to help fish the wire up to the top of the engine compartment. Once up there, we were able to fish the wire with the factory wiring bundle over to the driver's side where we will make the final connection to a jumper post. Once we have our black wire run up in the vicinity of the jumper post, we will need to go and install our inline fuse. We'll have the ring terminal connected to it. You'll go ahead and strip the wire back on the end of your black lead, as well as strip the red wire as part of the fuse connector. You will join these two sections using the butt connector. And then you may want to use a little electrical tape to go ahead and help protect it a little more. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and connect it to our jumper terminal post. Now that we have the wire connected to our jumper terminal post, we'll go ahead and install the 10 amp fuse. Now we'll go ahead and go back to the four flat and do a test on it to make sure everything works. We'll go ahead and use our test light. We'll connect the alligator clip to the white wire, which is our ground. And we'll have someone run through the light functions. The brown wire is the running lights. The yellow and the green will have an intermittent beep when the blinkers are on, and it'll stay solid when the brake lights are on. And that'll do it for the installation of our Kurt T-Connector Wiring Kit, part number C55532 on our 2003 Chrysler PT Cruiser.